Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive leadership coach and welcome to this week's video blog post. Uh, David Campbell, who is a senior fellow with the Center for Creative Leadership, is quoted as saying, celebrations are the punctuation marks that make sense of the passage of time. Without them, there are no beginnings and endings. Life becomes an endless series of Wednesdays. Life becomes an endless series of Wednesdays. I love that. It's just on and on and on and on and on. It's a hump day, right? Everybody, every day is a hump day. Without celebrations, we need to be celebrating. We need to be rewarding people. And that's what encouraging the heart is all about. Encouraging the heart is the fifth practice in Kuzas and Posner's book, The Leadership Challenge. And within that, practice there are six behaviors and the final behavior is give the members of the team lots of appreciation and support for their contributions give the members of the team lots of appreciation and support for their contributions that's a really accumulation of everything we've been talking about right it, it, that's an accumulation of encouraging the heart recognizing people Telling them that you appreciate them, that the organization appreciates them. And it's not just a one-off. It's just not a one-time a, a year. It's not during their review time. It's all the time. It should be an ongoing piece of recognizing people and letting them know how much you appreciate them and how much they, you appreciate them being part of the team. Now, you know, you, if you look at your people, and you think about their personalities. There are some that maybe are a little bit more needy of that, and there are others that really don't give a darn about it. That's an important piece too. In my work, when we're talking about different individuals on your team, and we're talking about personality, if, if any of you've done the DISC assessment or you've done social styles, you know there are four basic personality profiles or behavior profiles. And there are those that you know, want the recognition and those that really don't care for the recognition. So knowing that is important because those that really want it, you want to make sure they're getting it. And those that want to know, feel like they're being part of the team, you want to help them being, feeling part of the team. Those that like the personal recognition, personal applause, you want to give them the personal applause. Those that, that, that uh, you want the rec you can give them recognition for the work, the quality of the work they've done. And those you can give recognition for the timeliness of getting the work done in a timely ma manner or going beyond what they were asked to do. Is that hard work as a leader? Yes, it is. It means really knowing your people. Does it mean that you have to spend time Knowing your people? Yes, it does. It means spending time knowing people. It means spending time reflecting on them. And if you do, that opens up the communication with them. It opens up how you communicate with them. It builds that commitment and, those, and that builds the trust, builds the respect. And that's how the really good leaders get extraordinary things done in organizations is by making those connections so celebrate it and celebrate yourself celebrate your own reward so thank you for watching this week and i hope you'll join me next week when i put a bow on this whole project have a great week we'll talk to you then